What is up you guys? In today's video, I'm going to be going around Southern California and hitting some off-road trails. Let's get right to it. Alright, so I woke up this morning to some beautiful sprinkling rain and a cloudy day in Southern California. And it just felt like one of those days where, you know, I want to go out in nature and I want to see, you know, the trails or something like that. I do have a two-wheel drive. It's a SR5 stock Tacoma. I do have some off-road tires on here, but we're going to see what it can handle and just basically explore some off-road trails. Just look at how beautiful it is out here. All right, so I just used this little guy to air down, and I think it's only like 15 bucks. I'll link it in my description below. But all you guys do is just put it on like this. It tells you the PSI, and you can press this right there however much you want all right so i'm just gonna come over here to the left right off the main road and here we go so i can hear my tire slipping a little bit if i need to i could just put it in auto lsd but it's good nothing too crazy yet you guys so we've been driving around for a little bit but i found this pretty steep spot i'll show you guys right now i don't know if the two-wheel drive can do it but let's see what it's got here i'll show you guys right here so it's not too bad right here i'm just gonna go over this and then i'm gonna go around i could do this this isn't too bad at all and then here is where it gets a little bit tricky so right down here looks fine and then right up here so this may not look super steep on camera let me put it in a different mode maybe i don't know i can't even show you guys how steep it is let me get on top but this is a pretty steep hill right here you guys can actually see so from the bottom to the top i'm about six foot and this is just about my height you guys can see me going up it but let's see what the two-wheel drive can do As expected, I did bend my side step. You guys can see right there, it's bent. Obviously this little side step isn't meant for off-roading and that could be a costly mistake, especially if it bends the frame right up here, right up here. But this thing is kind of cheap and it only bent this little thing. Let's go see the other side, what happened. I was kind of expecting it, but there weren't any rocks, it was just dirt. And same thing here. So this thing is actually all the way bent. You guys can see right there. I was planning on taking these off anyways and getting a new one. So it's kind of okay because it kind of did protect, you know, other things instead of it hitting something else. But we did it, guys. I was honestly not expecting the two-wheel drive to do it. As you guys saw in the first one, it slipped. And here it is. It's pretty deep. It's pretty steep, guys. Look, I was honestly not expecting me to do it. The first time I slipped and you know it's a two-wheel drive for a four by four maybe something that steep isn't that hard but i've never done something like that in the two-wheel drive 
and I barely aired down my tires. They're at like 35 PSI, which is almost normal basically. And uh, yeah, if I aired down even more, maybe even less slippage. And I had it in auto LSD, which is, you know, you just press the traction control button once and it puts an auto LSD. Uh, I've tried it before, it works a lot better than just normal. When I see those videos of the trucks going up like a hill like this, that's exactly what it felt like. I don't know how it looked. I didn't see the video yet. I'll take a look right now, but let's keep going on this trail and see what else we can find. Down there is gonna be downtown San Diego and this right here is the coast. You can't really see it because there's some clouds, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful view. Man, look at that. Off-roading with the view. What more could you ask for? actually did get a warning my pre-collision system is off for some reason i tried messing with my traction control maybe a loose wire something happened but we're just gonna go ahead and keep going after getting back on the main road the pre-collision system actually turned back on by itself I messed with the traction control a little bit and it went away so it looks good there the only thing is gonna be my side rails that bent I just hope it didn't you know bend too much in the frame to where I can't take them out you know the little bolts but other than that they should be okay so if you got a two-wheel drive let me know down below I was really stoked on how it performed how it handled everything basically uh, exceeded my expectations uh, the only thing is obviously I would do differently is I would get rock sliders or just ditch the side steps but that's obviously you know just a known thing that's what it comes with when you're going off-roading some things will get hit some things will go wrong i think the most important part was having the bf goodridge ko2 tires uh, there will be a link in my description below and i'll get a slight kickback if you decide to buy it using my link but every other mod you guys did see on my truck will be also in the link in my description below and if you guys can really help me out i'd appreciate it uh, just for a like and a subscribe, you know, it really help out the channel. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day.